just and people either love the game or hate it. So. So if you can do an intro with that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Turn that, into it. That'd be really cool. Let's just go ahead and steal the intro from the show. Why don't we do that? <laughs> yeah, we do. Let's There's do no that. copyright issues. Hey, welcome back to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy. I'm Tim. My name's Rod. And today we're going to be taking a look at Firefly this. The game. The much anticipated. Awesome. The board game, really. Highly. It says the game. But oh, there's, the... there's a video game coming out, too. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's an MMO or something. So today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, highly um, anticipated, highly criticized, highly loved, and hated game based off of the hit one season show but Firefly. the best series ever <laughs> the best ever best 14 episodes you get over <laughs> ever <laughs> and movie <laughs> so I'll get away with the movie. okay so tim's going to start us out and talk about the instructions all right so as far as instructions go <laughs> this game is super complicated to get into right <laughs> so you you will have to read the instruction booklet before you even start going through the instruction booklet to start playing um, it's got the, the the basic setup where you can start setting up the game, and that goes pretty easy. You'll get all your decks lined out. You'll get uh, you get all everybody's cards set up pretty good. They they do a great job on that, and even showing you a basic setup with pictures in in the uh, in the instruction booklet, which is what I like. And then they they do put a lot of uh, these kind of photos in here that don't explain anything in the game. But they're great because it's it Nathan adds. Fillion. Nathan Fillion. That's all we need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They pay for that license they and they're going to use it. Hero shot of him. Every right. page would be great. Um, but but yeah. So even after you get the setup done, it's still going to take forever to get all the rules down and get everything. Make sure you get everything right as you play through. And then uh, I noticed too there there were several things missing from the instruction booklet. Uh, not a big fan of that. <laughs> when you can't really play through a whole game without having to go on the internet to find the rules. Um, but they do, they, they do these, the, the bolding, which I like, of the sections. But um, when they bold stuff on here, and, and you catch your eye, so you go here to look for the rule, um, this may not be where you want to go for, at all for the rule. It'll be in a different section. So they could have organized no, the No, no, you're being a little too critical. It's not that I'm bad. I'm just saying. I'm, it's not that bad. I'm going over the instructions here. I mean, there's some missing components. I, I thought we're supposed to leave our I review know, until the could. end. I'm just <laughs> explaining the instructions. <laughs> okay. You know, it's so they, you know, they have some, the, the bolding and the pictures and the hero shots all throughout, no, so, which is the, the point, really, at the well, end, is the flavor. Wait a second. Wait, so let's talk about this oh, real the, quick. Of all the games that we've played, this hasn't been the most difficult. No, and, and, not. Well, it, like Mage but, Knight or something. Is that well, yeah, that was a little, <laughs> little much. But so I don't think it was that difficult of a game. It's just maybe been maybe they just didn't put together the instructions well enough or something. Is what you think? That's what or? I'm saying. That's what I'm right. getting. Well, to I the understand point that, but, 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 but uh, you, it's I don't think it's that difficult of a game to play. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, but I do know what Tim's saying that uh, the the instructions are hard to find stuff in, and yeah. it doesn't it doesn't lend well to learning it at first and I think the the proof is that they've already released an official you know update to the instruction booklet so you know that there were some obvious uh, missteps maybe in how the instructions were laid out so and look how good of a company they were to do that right yeah, yeah. no doubt. I, I love the company they mm -hmm. do some great stuff yeah, they do. and I mean we'll give it to them they they brought this great game to us and uh, I mean any game on the first printing I would imagine is gonna have some missteps like that and how it's done so our hope is maybe in the future that maybe when they reprint this and do it again that maybe they'll have some really nice updates to the instruction manual and make some of those things that are unclear more clear yeah. so so anything else on the instructions or i think you're uh, pretty clear about i mean it. i was just I, I just saying that maybe they they could have play tested it a little better <laughs> play tested it uh, when they when, I mean the instructions so they of it yeah so they could have organized okay. it a little better. okay okay all right now my <laughs> my review part of it going on the components First of all, the components are outstanding. Uh -huh. Okay, nice board, large board. Mm -hmm. Nice uh, sad faces right here. <laughs> it's great the sad faces. The ships, nicely done. Uh, <laughs> I guess you know the, the, it, when it comes down to the, I would like to have seen different, more spaceships. I guess rather than all be fireflies on the most part. But mm -hmm. it's not like they need. But to that's minor stuff. <laughs> minor stuff. Like everything from like the money 
Mm-hmm. See, I'd, I'd heard where what they did with the money was they actually got somebody who worked on the Firefighter series that was part of, uh, I guess, doing the sets and everything to actually do the money. And it's fantastic. It's just uh, every little piece gives you that feel of when, like when you're watching the show and the, the, um, the Japanese and the, or the Chinese and the, the, just all the different aspects of it. The Western feel to it. Um, there's decks for every single area you visit, um, and each one of them acts differently. So, I mean, I, I just think that, uh, like with the cards, they have a, you know, you get every photo from the, from the show, and then the artwork on the back makes it fit perfectly from, from uh, what the planet is, what type of planet it is. So, I think when it comes to components, it's probably one of the best components uh, of all the games that I've uh, played lately. I totally agree. Oh, you forgot about the dinosaur. Oh, and yeah. it comes with a dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. You can't forget the dinosaur. Walk but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a hidden gem, too, because they don't, they don't explain right. um, they, what that's from. Exactly. You know? right. that, is, yeah. that is cool. You got to know. I totally agree about the components. I think the whole world that Firefly was in, kind of this futuristic Western type world, you know, I think they hit a home run with the way that they designed the, the cards and the feel. I think everything matches that. So you get this, I'm in outer space, but I'm also kind of in this world that's kind of rustic and all that stuff. So to me, the components are phenomenal as far as that goes because I, I forget what this game costs. I think maybe you can get it for like 40 bucks or something, but I paid I paid more than that for a game that gives you half of what this does as far as uh, the cards, the paper money, the, the cardboard tokens, the miniatures that come with it. I mean, uh, I'm just a big fan of what you get for your money in this game. Value. <clears throat> Definitely. So let's talk about gameplay and how the game actually plays. So at the beginning of the game, everybody's going to get their own little... Uh, uh, their own little ship, and this on here, it shows you your ship, the name of the ship. It, it has little cargo spaces. It's got a uh, uh, stash that you can use, and then it's got slots where you can put uh, uh, ship upgrades in it. And so you can upgrade your engine. You can do different upgrades to your ship. And then, and then the game kind of tells you how to lay it stuff out if you've got active jobs. And then over here, you're able to put your crew and things like that. So at the beginning of the game, each person gets a captain, and then that captain has special abilities. They might be able to do this or that a little bit better. They might get paid more for these types of jobs and things like that. And so on your turn, you're going to be taking turns flying around the verse, trying to pick up jobs and then finish the job. So in essence, it's a pick up and delivery game where you're going to go here, get a job, and then complete the job and get money. Now the game comes with, I forget how many different scenarios of different uh, ways that you can win the game. Sometimes it might be whoever has the most money. It could be, you know, all different, different scenarios in the game. And so on a turn, you're simply going to be able to fly across a verse. So you could spend uh, one of your actions to uh, fly. So you'll actually have to burn fuel and then go across the verse. And then uh, another action could be uh, completing a job or picking up a job. So. Um, different places on the board there are um, there's names like Patience and Nishka and, and um, who are the other guys um, there's uh, one right there and Badger and, and then the guy that's in the right and then the Alliance Cruiser so forgive me for not knowing them by heart um, <laughs> but uh, you're going to be flying around the verse in your little spaceship and you're going to be uh, landing in a planet and then you're going to be able to take a job from that person so you're able to pick up jobs and there'll be decks on the board where you're able to pick up and see what's available to you and then pick a job I believe you're able to have up to three active jobs at a time so you're able to uh, then pick up a job and then on your next turn you're able to fly and so one of the ways that the game works is on your turn you're going to be in a space and when you want to move and you move to an adjacent space depending on if you're in border space or alliance space you're going to draw a card and we'll get to our re review of this aspect to the game but each space that you move to you have to draw a card and on that card it's either going to say keep flying or it's going to present uh, something to you it could be something that's going to stop you completely or it could be something where the Alliance comes into your space, or it could be where the, uh, the Reavers are coming after you. Um, but each space that you go through, you're gonna have to pull a card, uh, complete that card, and then move on and keep going. Each engine tells you how far you can go when you burn a fuel, and so you might be able to go four or five spaces, and then, uh, and basically that's the essence of a turn. You're able to get jobs, complete jobs, or move around. And there's a lot of other things. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that happens in the game where warrants can be issued. Um, you can lose cargo or contraband. Um, 
uh, like crew members or crew members, yeah. you know, the aim to misbehave thing is pretty awesome. Yeah. So there's um, a lot of things where it might be in order to complete a job, you have to aim to misbehave so many times. And so that would actually be, you would pull from this specific deck and then it's going to tell you things that you have to do. Like you're going to have to, this one says you're going to have to kill the alarm. And in order to do that, you have to rig a bypass. And so that means you're going to have to roll a check of five, a mechanics check of five. And so depending on what crew you have, you can modify that dice roll, but then you actually roll it. And if you get it, then you pass that check. If you don't, then you fail. And then it's got uh, different scenarios. If you pass it, this is what happens. If you fail it, this is what happens. Different things like that. So I don't know. I know that's a very simplistic explanation of how the game works, but that's kind of how it works. You're just picking up crew, picking up supplies uh, that you need to complete jobs, flying around the verse, but at the end of the day, it's a pick up and delivery game in the Firefly universe. It is cool that they have, um, I think every single character on the show, even the guys in the background, have a card somewhere in here <laughs> that, where there are pictures on it. And sometimes they're even named, and they're actual characters you can pick up for your, your crew and your ca be a captain and whatnot. But I guess only being 14 episodes long. <laughs> Is it 14? Well, only being a, you know one season. Outstanding episodes, by yeah. the way. <laughs> uh, they, they, could, they could do that, I guess. But it's like Star Wars, you know. It's like... Well, you know, the extended universe has named all the characters in the background. This game does that for you. Mm -hmm. And so that is pretty cool that you run into, you know, recognizable faces and stuff like that. Right. So, so. And that's really what the gameplay and everything is based around is the flavor of the TV show. Right, yeah. So and, you, and it pulls that in. Go ahead. Yeah. So each one of the cards, like, has, like, a phrase or something from the TV show. And then it, it describes what you're going to do. So I think if you like Firefly on the most part, and uh, I think it's a very enjoyable game. I mean, I, I mean, I can't see where anyone would actually have an argument against that. <laughs> have an argument against? Are you foreshadowing? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, with the game itself, I think it, play, it plays well. Um, like any other game, it has some repetition in it. Um, like, some repetition. Like any other game. Some repetition. And so uh, but, every time but you move, again, you have to pull a card. I think it's pretty neat that there's all these different space. characters. And every space you move. To. It changes every time, you know. And you can be an outlaw type guy, rather, or follow the strict your rules. Stay within the. You that. can't follow the rules and, and win this game. Don't listen to them. <laughs> you will not win if you follow the rules. It's possible. I've read about it on PGG. <laughs> 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 I haven't done it. I'm just yeah. saying I've read about He's been it. Trumped. <laughs> no. So I, mean, I think it's when pretty, everybody else just the way it up. plays, you, you know, it's pretty enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. So here's my uh, the reason I like the game, and I do like the game, and we'll we'll get to our dice review in a second. But the reason that I like it is I like being able to build my ship, and then I like being able to fly around to these different places and dig through the decks to find the different items that I can use that, you know, I'm gonna spend my money to buy this particular item because I think it might help me complete my job. And so at the beginning of the game, I kind of like how you're taking some time going and getting the crew and the things that you want uh, so that you can go complete the jobs. And then, you know, it's the negative is the flying across the, the universe aspect to it. And so maybe yeah. you can talk about that. Well, I would, if there was one thing I could change about this game, um, it would be the movement. It's like, because you, you burn fuel, and then you can move however many spaces is on your engine. Every single space that you go into to get anywhere, you have to pull one of those cards. Which, I mean, a lot of times, it, nothing even happens. It just says, keep flying. But other times, you know, it's got the breakdowns or whatever, breakdowns, and then it's got, it's got breakdowns, and then it's got a couple more breakdowns in there, and they're mixed in with the keep flying, and then every now and then, it you just, are in space. It just a long throws you for a loop. Between loop. planet to planet. And it, so he's thinking it's just a trot right across the street. It's not that. It's, it's doing exactly it's what it should be doing. It should be difficult. It's, it doesn't come <laughs> easy. He wants it easy. He it, like took it to ride. It is very no, it's, no, monotonous. No, it's very monotonous. Just traveling from one point point to the next it's just like constant pulling a card pulling you're like i'm gonna go one two three four five all right first space pull pull a card uh second space uh pull a card there's oh breakdown uh, i don't have anything that beats a breakdown uh, i guess i'm stuck here until oh, your next turn <laughs> <laughs> until my next turn and then 
I mean, I do and agree. And that's your turn. And then the next guy is like, oh, I stopped here. Let me look through cards and eat cards and let me decide on this. That's this guy's turn. And then this next guy's turn, he takes, I'm going to move here, pull a card, move here, pull a card. And this is really what it is. It's Well, I mean, so I will say repetitive on the card pulling. At the beginning, I, I don't remember what the game says it takes to play, but whatever it is, we haven't hit that number yet. You know, of course, right. half of that was because we were looking through the instruction booklet and we couldn't find the right. answers to our question. But the other half was that it does just take a while. It just takes time for like what he's saying. You know, you go here and the here and you're pulling cards and then you're trying to roll dice to figure out what happens. Yeah. So if there was a way to speed that up, and I know the more we play it, the better we'll get. You know, and the more that we play it, we'll figure out what to take with us to keep breakdowns from happening, keep the Alliance Cruiser off of us. Right. You know, you figure out those things to be able to get around the verse better. So my only hope is that if you put a lot of time into the game playing, then you could get it to be maybe what the, the game says, you know, the two-hour game or whatever it is. So. And when playing the game, you need a big, big table mm -hmm. because you have tons of cards yes, everywhere. Tons. Wow, and, the and it just takes up a lot of space. We played on a 5x5, five five and that wasn't big enough. So um, yeah, yeah, you'll have so like your play area, and then you'll have like game pieces for exactly. everybody else to be it's around everywhere. you, like around you. Right. It is. It's like, a huge game. Does anybody see the such and such deck? And they're like, oh, it's over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It is a lot. But that goes back to my positive: is that you get a lot for your money. Yeah, so exactly. it's not like you just have one pile of cards that has items in it, you know. But there's a lot. So. Right. <laughs> well, I think we should go ahead and uh, do the rating on the game. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think, uh, our dice. I think you guys need these <laughs> dice. <laughs> One of them <laughs> shall it be. Okay. So at the end of our board game reviews, if you've been watching us now, you know how this works. At the end of our game reviews, we like to give you a one dice uh, respected green. Go buy it right now. White, think about it. Um, or play it if it's, it's on the table. If you would play it if it's out on the table. Or red, don't buy it. Don't play it. Go, you know, play Monopoly or something, mm -hmm. you know. Wow, so. <laughs> really? You went right to Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what we're going to do is we're, each one of us have a different color dye, red, um, white, or green, and this shows what we think of the game. And go. Oh. <laughs> Three red. Three oh, red. Okay. So I guess, I guess we should let him start. Okay, somebody. tell us why you gave it three red dice. So it's, it's simple. A, it, it was repetitive, monotonous. Um, B, the rule book is not complete. You cannot finish a game with this rule book. And to me, that, Which they have that fixed. kills it. Which they that have kills fixed. it. Which they have fixed. It's like if you can't find the rule in the rule book to play your game, it's done. Right. And that's it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. I, I was telling the guys before we started that I would buy this game again. Even though it is just a pickup delivery game, even though there are <coughs> problems with you know how long it takes you to go, I just love being able to build my ship, fly around, complete jobs, and I just love the Firefly universe. So to me, it's one that I gotta have in my collection. So I have to agree with Jimmy here and wholeheartedly <laughs> disagree <laughs> with Tim at the end. Yeah. So the game, for value-wise, you get so much with the game. And you know what? We figured out how to play the game. It wasn't that difficult. We finally figured it out. We made it and through. And we love, I mean, it's just fun. So. You spend a quality amount of time. I don't care if a game takes 20 hours to play. I enjoy a good long so, game. So if right. you took and that's good. Monopoly and you, you scratch it off of whoa, the, whoa. the off of a, See, a, that a cardboard work. box. And you put then some you Firefly just, on there, might help. Burn Firefly wow. into the box. You have to burn it like that. Then he would love it. It would be the most awesome game ever made. No, no, no. It's just wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's be serious. Let's be serious. The game has great mechanics. <laughs> there's only one part that you. There's only one part you can. Well, there's two parts you can criticize. The instruction manual. Yes. We can do that on 90% of the this, games we play. This is the game. We can do that on 90% of the games <laughs> we play. And the other thing is his movement. That's so it. if so if it had faster movement or we were able to make it move faster, and there was a better written instruction booklet, would you like it? Or it, I mean, even if the each card did something. Right. You know, then. The movement wouldn't be so bad, or your whole movement just pulls one card. One card or something. That yeah. would be fine. Mm -hmm. And they fixed every single issue within the instruction booklet 
Mm -hmm. um, but that's a tall order. Right. You're talking about changing one of the big mechanics. That's already of the been game. fixed. The mechanics, the that yeah. part. But you're right. I mean, that is a huge thing, and that's a lot of the critique that I've read is about the movement of the game and how long it takes. Yeah. But everything that you know, I think would change that is just if you get better at it, and because there's not as many breakdowns and alliance and reaver issues as you think there are just i think the first few times that we played it that's what we ran into and because we yeah. weren't prepared right that's what that's what slowed right. it down for us but anyway so, so i think that tim's <laughs> review on it is just and i think i think, I think the two of ours i give you a review of red die <laughs> exactly i mean the, the criticism is this, one of these was for Rod. <laughs> the other one was for Rod's opinion. <laughs> and this is my opinion. Oh, I got it. So, anyway, so that's it. And please, I know that this will be, you're either on one side or the other on this one. So let us know uh, what you think about it in the comments uh, because uh, this is a, a game that gets a lot of comments. So let us know. Check us out on our website at boardgamecloset.com and uh, Twitter and Facebook as well. We'll see you Support next time. Support your local hobby shop. <laughs>